Well, okay, now we're going to learn one of my favorite Don Reno arrangements here to Yes, Sir, That's My Baby. Now, Don didn't write this song. This is a really old song. I think it's from the early 20s. And most likely he learned this from Arthur Smith. Don learned a lot of old tunes from Arthur Smith, uh, Tin Pen Alley stuff, uh, jazz tunes, stuff like Limehouse Blues, Little Rock Getaway. Um, that's where he got it from was Arthur Smith. And they recorded it together in the early 50s, and Don recorded it again in the uh, early 60s with Red Smiley, somewhere along 63, 64, I can't remember. But um, that's the version we're going to be concentrating on here most is the version with Red Smiley. Uh, Don did record it a third time with Bill Harrell for the Jalen label uh, record. And uh, most people haven't heard that version, but it's it's really, um, it's basically the same thing. It's, it's not much different, just a few different little licks and things. And um, Don liked to play this live. It's a good tune. It's a perfect vehicle for Reno style. And I'll go through some of the things I've heard him do live. Uh, we can add to this and, and try to show you these things along the way. So uh, let's get started with it here. Obviously, we're going to get started with this crazy intro that Don does. And if you've listened to any of my other instructional videos before, I've covered this, um, I think, maybe in Grandfather's Clock. Um, but it's a very crazy sounding lick that Don does. He does it in backup. He does it in breaks. You can put it anywhere. Um, but he's, he's sliding up real fast to your high G chord here uh, in your D shape. And what you're doing is you're starting a forward roll, one, two, three, and you're sliding while you do it. And you, you come up to this G chord and you're hitting this peak note. So I usually start around the 10th fret or the 12th fret. Uh, you could start it anywhere you want to, really, um, just as long as you can get down there in time. So I usually start around the 10th fret, I think, like that. And what you really want to hear is that peak note out of your G chord on your first string. It's like that. Hard to explain and do it slow, but you get the idea. It's pretty simple. And then we're going to come back to your G chord, uh, your F shaped G chord here. Hit that peak note out of your F shape. Back to your 7th note, you're playing right out of this F shape, and then your F7 shape. Okay, and all I'm going to do there is I'm running through this F shape. Now Don does this a lot all over the neck. You've probably learned this already from some of the other videos. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just doing it down here on the neck. So. Okay, let me play that for you. That's all I'm doing is running through that F shape. Now from that G, we're going to go back to your regular F shape G up here. And we're going to do almost the same thing. Okay, it's almost the same run. Alright, just running straight through that F shape. Starting on your um, third fret on the first string, your seventh note. So, you're sliding back off the fourth there. You want to get that in there. When you're really playing this fast, that sounds good. Okay, and what I'm doing on the end there Stopping on the fourth fourth fret on the third string. D string open, 
second string or second fret on the fourth string, fourth fret, and then the second fret on the third string. Very common little tag lick that Don uses in single string. So. Now you could hit that G string open. If you have enough time, but. Like I said, I'm going to go pretty fast on this because I've covered a lot of these little licks and things in other videos, so you may be familiar with them already. Um, so I won't, you know, go over every little note, but I think you can get it. I'm playing it slow enough here that I think you can probably just get it by listening to it. So after that point, we're just going to start the song. All right. Just like you normally would any song. So, all right, we're on that fourth fret on the fourth string, and then we're going to slide up to your G chord, and this is where the song starts, really. All of that's the intro. And then the song starts. We're going to slide up to your, uh, your D-shaped G here. Now, the key to what we're doing here on this... Uh, the melody part, the main melody part of the song, is the Dixie Breakdown Roll. Don uses this Dixie Breakdown Roll a lot, and what that is, is uh, one, two, three, and back with your index. So, okay, it's a hard roll to get right and get fast, but Don uses it a lot, and I've mentioned it before. Um, this is the roll that Don uses in the substitute for doing my time roll. So. Earl would do, but Don leaves the fifth completely out of it, okay, and that's, that's the Dixie Breakdown roll, okay, so get that roll down before we, you start learning, you know, this part of it, because you're going to need it, um, so we start out, we're going to slide into that G. All right. What I'm doing there is I'm doing that Dixie breakdown roll, and I'm hitting these melody notes from your 7th to your 8th to your ninth. Okay. Um, I'm just hitting those notes, and I'm doing that Dixie breakdown roll. When I come back to the seventh note to get that melody, it's Dixie breakdown roll twice, and then what Don does is he's doing a little uh, one two with the thumb and the index. So I'm not really doing a roll there; it's kind of playing one two back and forth. D chord. So that's what we're doing. And I'm just holding that G down. Um, to your D. And then we're going to bar this D across your 7th fret. Alright. So the main thing is remember that melody. That's all you're doing there is playing that melody, is straight melody. So bar in that seventh, and then we're gonna come and hit those same notes, but I'm holding down all three strings on the seventh fret. For the melody, hammering on to that ninth fret, coming on, and I'm hammering, coming up here and hammering on the ninth fret 
on the fourth string from the eighth to the ninth. Then hitting your G string open. And we'll get into some variations here, what Don does on different versions, live versions. Uh, like I said, his Jalen version um, with Bill Harrell. Um, but that's basically the melody line that you want to follow there. All right. So from that point, we're going to go to a D. All right. And all I'm doing in there is hitting the fourth string. One, two, three to the fourth fret. Then roll forward. Now you can do any roll you want to, really. It's, it's just kind of a forward roll. So. I think that's the one I usually use. And then we're going to go back. Same thing. We're just going to finish it off with a tag lick. All right. Then we're getting ready to go into the bridge. Um, we're going to grab this partial G chord. And all it is is you're based out of your F shape. And I'm brushing the third and second strings of that chord and backing it up and then putting it back to your, your regular shape, your regular G. And hitting it open after. Okay. So. And that's a little tag lick Don uses a lot when he ends a phrase. Okay, he usually follows everything up with that. So. And then we go to a C, and we do the same thing. You could do it up here using your same F position you just used. But we're going to do it here on your fifth fret, same notes, just a different place. We're gonna come to your C. All right, so. So when I come out of that C, now I'm brushing down with my thumb. Remember, uh, mute the bridge a little bit with your palm or the, the fat of your hand back here. And then we're going to go to an A, and we're going to walk it down just a little bit from your 5th fret to your 4th fret on the 3rd string. And we're going to slide into the A. So, And all we're doing is we're just running right down that A chord, your F shape A. So it sounds like this. Actually, I think he's brushing it. So we're... Hard to play it slow. And I think sometimes I'll brush the C on the third and second strings to the fourth fret instead of hitting the single notes. I think the original version he just hit single notes. So. I'm slightly brushing that A too, but I like to do this C here that I was telling you about, brushing the C. And I think that's the way he does it on the uh, Jalen album I was telling you about. So. Alright. We're just sliding into that F shape A on the fourth and third strings, backing up one fret. Just 
come in ending up on that peak note, your A note. Okay, and then we're going to go to a D, and we're going to use this minor walk down that he, he uses a lot against a, a major chord. Okay, and all that is is I'm grabbing this um, this B minor. Uh, it's a B minor. It's a D minor shape, but it's a B minor. And we're just gonna. All right, and you've heard him do this many times. And all right, it's a walk down into the next chord. And he uses this position and this chord a lot in many different ways. Um, stuff like that. But that's that's the shape he's using. He, you're using a minor shape against your major F chord. All right, so. All right, so I'm brushing that. I'm brushing all three strings, still muting the, br the bridge here. Okay, so um, let's do that C again. And it just kind of pauses right there. And then he goes right back into the G. just repeats that first part again. Now on the original version with red, after he comes out of that G the last time, they go back into the D again. Um, and he does a single string run. He just runs through the D chord. It just It's kind of like a tag, it's a turnaround is what it's doing to the D chord. Uh, the version he did with Bill Harrell, he didn't go back to the D on it. It's kind of like um, five by eight, um, where he just turns around on the the D chord on the end. So let me play um, the bridge again. So it goes like this. <laughs> There's a couple of little things here I want to point out that I did. Um, sometimes, Don, I'm holding down this G chord, this D-shaped G, and sometimes Don would leave that first string open, kind of like 5 by 8. All right, on the G, he's leaving this D string open. Then you go back to your regular D that that you were doing before. All right. It just gives it a little different sound. You can hold it down if you want to, the full G. Now, if you were to change keys on this to say uh, B or A or something like that, you would want to hold down that that D chord or the, the D string on your first, um, on your first string, <laughs> the D note on your first string. So if you did it in A, you could play it in A. Okay. So, but that's just a little variation you can do. Leave that D string open. Okay. Now I did a little single string a variation there a few minutes ago when you come out of that G or that D okay instead of going like we did the first time this is a single string variation 
You can also do that here. Same notes. And Don would use either one. Depends on where what he felt like doing at the time or where he was at on the neck. All that is is I'm playing out of your D chord or your G, it's a G chord D shape. Okay, you've probably learned that already in some of the other videos, but that's what he's doing. And then we run through that D, like I said, it does a turnaround on the original version. without hitting the open note. Let me play that slow for you. Just running down through your D chord. Just like the follow the leader. Okay. Okay, and that's the first break to Yes Sir, That's My Baby.